have about, I don't know, I'm not thinking rock in the Cat 259D3 if you haven't figured it out. I'm probably going to have about 30 hours in cleaning up this six acres. Well, I don't know. I still got to disc it and uh, get the rocks out or, and get the rocks out again, basically. Anyway, but I'm going to have about, I don't know, probably, like I said, at least 30 hours in, in this field. And somebody may say, well, is it really worth 30 hours of your time and equipment rental and stuff like that to get this in production. And I would say definitely in this situation it is. First off, let me show you this pile of rocks I dug out, or one of the piles. So this is the bigger pile of rocks, and I hope the camera's doing it justice. But that is a very large pile of rocks, and that all came out of this field. Now, is this field... Okay, so the reason we did, went ahead and did this field is because it's already irrigated. So the pivot already is gonna swing around and get it. The pivot, you know, is there. It did a good job of getting what we already watered with hand lines. But when we bought the place, I mean, I'm not gonna move hand lines very much. Uh, I'm basically, it's me, my wife, and my daughter. I don't have much help. So spending time moving hand lines a lot of the times it's not the best way to spend your time. So this pivot will swing around and get this, and it's gonna add about, I don't know, six acres-ish, at least six acres to this field. So what is six acres worth? Well, if you put six acres into big square bales, like let's say we make alfalfa hay and put it into big square bales. Well, let's say it's organic because I am organic. So this ground is organic hay ground. And if it's dairy quality, I'm gonna get at least $300 a ton, six acres. I'm going to get, uh, let's see, six acres. I'm going to get typically about six tons per year in a full, in a full year. So, you know, uh, that's 36 tons of hay, 36 times $300 a ton. That's $9,000, uh, $10,800. So I, yearly I would gross $10,800. Obviously you're going to have a little expense to grow that hay, but it's going to add $10,800 around 10 grand a year to my bottom line. And while that may not seem like a whole lot, I'm better. I mean, it may not seem like a whole lot. It actually, it really is. It, it, I mean, 10 grand is, you know, 5%, you know, that's 5% of my income really. So that's 5% more. And you know, that's, you know, that 10 grand could probably cover the maintenance costs on my equipment. I would imagine it would be pretty close covering the maintenance or some of the startup costs, you know, um, so it's definitely worth it to me. Like I said, I'm going to do this 30 hours one time right we're gonna do this one time pick all these huge piles of rocks up get most of the rocks out it's gonna take one time now sure if we replant or till there's gonna be rocks here and there that we will pick out as we go but there's only gonna be one time I spend 30 hours on it so I'm 28 years old if I farm this for the next 40 years that's 60 I'm be till I'm 68 that's basically less than an hour a year that you'd spend on this getting it cleaned up so it's definitely worth it uh, and in the long term, right, you'd figure expense, how much it costs. Like this machine costs $400 a day to rent it. Uh, you rent it for a week, it's uh, 1200. You rent it for a month, it's 3,600 bucks. We rented it for a month because we thought it was worth it. And it is worth it. We're gonna get a lot of use out of it, not just in this field, in other fields too, making it more efficient. But I'm only gonna have to do that once. Those other fields, I'm only gonna have to take those big rocks out once and then I'm good for the rest of the time. So it's definitely worth it because in 30 years, how much is it going to cost to rent a skid steer for a day, right? It's nothing is ever going to be cheaper than it is right now. People talk about markets fluctuating up and down and costs going up and down. It, it doesn't really change that much. Everything is on a continual upward trend. Sure, it go, it, they may have some low points for like housing, but guess what? Housing is going to be even more expensive when it comes back out of the dive. It's kind of the same thing with everything, right? Farm equipment, it's gone up. Vehicles have gone up. Yeah, they've slowed down. Like they're not selling as many, but the price is still more expensive. So if you're gonna do something and you wanna put capital into some stuff, you might as well do it now and not wait because it's never gonna be less expensive than it is right now. So like I said, I'm gonna keep working. It's starting to rain, but I'm gonna keep working and get the rest of these rocks. I'm really from pretty much here to the pivot point. It's about this area right here is what I have left. So I've already cleaned up about four and a half, five acres. So we're almost there, but uh, I'm just gonna keep working away. So, you know, 
we may have more heart to hearts here in a minute, but I got some work to do first. Well, it's a couple days later. I got tires for the disc because the disc has flat, flat tires. I've taken the skid steer and I've gotten all the rocks, I think, out of there for now. I did go with the backhoe and scoop up some of the bigger ones so that I, and then I scooped them out with the skid steer. So now we're gonna go air these tires up, put them on the disc, grab the tractor, hook it up to the disc, bring the disc up here, hook it up to the harrow, and then we're gonna disc and harrow this six acres, find them other rocks. Once we have those other rocks found, we'll scoop them out with a skid steer, we'll disc and harrow one more time, do any more rocks that we need to do, and then we're ready to plant. We're getting some more acres. That's so exciting, so exciting. I'll meet you guys at the disc. Nothing's easy. Disc is there, pivot's there. Pivot's squirting all over the disc right now. So I'm gonna drop off all the tools that I need to do this, the jack, the two tires, my impact gun, I'm gonna drop them off. Then I'm gonna run down and get the tractor. And then by the time I get back up here, hopefully, you know, it's out of the way. It should be close to being out of the way enough that I can, you know, hook up the disc and, yeah, if all it fails, it should be far enough I can hook up the disc, pull it out a ways and then get the tires on it and get her changed, but <laughs> always something. Hold on a minute. Okay, they got the tire chain, they got the 6588 hooked up to the disc and the drag arrow, and I, I kind of want to show you what we're doing. So, this is kind of the difference. You can see here we got the grass and the flatness kind of out through here versus the tilt ground. And it's pretty easy to see that the tilt ground has got the rocks up on top of the ground, so now I can see them so I can come through and pick the rocks with the skid steer if they're big ones and the little ones by hand. And I'm able to see where the rocks are. So that's the goal here. We're trying to turn those rocks up, get the rest of as many of the rocks out as we can. So that way when we come and plant and we run the swather across here, uh, we don't hit those rocks. Obviously, I would love to just no-till right into this situation here, but unfortunately, no-tilling into this is not going to work. Uh, so we'll get you guys set up, do a little time lapse here, let you watch us do some work, and uh, yeah, let's just get to doing some work. Filming with my phone, the sun went down. You guys can see I got the tractor idling, letting it cool off. But it did pretty much exactly what I wanted it to do. It, you know, we got everything pretty evened and smoothed out, and then the rocks had turned up the rocks. So now I can see the rocks, the big rocks. I can go through with the skid steer, scoop them up real quick, add them to my ever-growing rock pile. Right, where'd it go? Right there. It looks pretty small, but it's actually pretty big. Anyway, guys. I gotta go change water as per usual, and we will see you again. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on American Beef Ranch.